most about the Tibetan bowls is that they are the ones that I have here particularly are two, three, four hundred years old and they actually speak a they speak to us in a, a bio language that it speaks directly uh, to ourselves. It's not based on communicating ideas, but it's a language of the body. It's a language that um, the cells speak, the cosmos sings, the, um, the oceans know. It's a language that is um, as old as, as, as life itself. It speaks in the same way that the body actually um, births itself and, and unfolds itself. It's not a language of the mind. and It goes back to our origins and it goes back to creation. So I'm, I'm going to actually um, play the bowls. I would like for you to hear it and experience it and to experience what I call their, the mystery, the magic, and the medicine of the bowls. And um, I invite you to, um, to take um, a deep breath before I begin to play and, and make sure that you do a, a full exhale. And then to just listen, listen to the bowls and to also just feel what's happening in your body. To just really feel yourself, um, feel the sensations that are occurring in your body and see, um, see uh, how, they, how they affect you. And if you like, you can close your eyes and take a few moments. And see how the ripples of sound are affecting your body. The reason that I, I love playing the bowls is that they have a capacity to, um, through resonance and through evocation with the fluid system, to slow the system down um, from its usual survival and uh, daily activity mode into a more uh, restful mode where the body has a chance to actually retune and, and recalibrate. So I use the bowls as um, a meditative tool, as a way to um, soothe and settle my system. And the process through which that happens, I believe, is that the orbital sound, that the sound in the round, the spherical um, cycles and pulsations, these slow spherical cycles and pulsations actually um, 
uh, retune their tuning forks and they retune uh, my entire system beginning with um, my cells or even beginning with the atoms and, and even finer particles in my cells and they allow me to really decompress and to become more, um, they allow me to become more uh, present and they do that also by changing my, even my relationship with gravity in that um, certain um, constraints in my system are actually encouraged or begin to vibrate in a, in a different way. They begin to move in a um, orbital 360 uh, dance of, of life. And it is as much about the silence and the interval as it is about the sound. So I'm going to stop here for a few moments. And I'll begin again. They speak a language that the cells in our body and um, all the fluids in our body reson can resonate and entrain with. And they open up new possibilities for, I believe, health and, and wellness. It's a language that is um, orbital, it's spherical, the bowls themselves are already round. Uh, and so they are able to speak and communicate directly with, with every cell in our body. And I believe that our cells are, are similar to uh, the process of embryogenesis and the way that we're created, and that our bodies are an unfolding of a, a creative process in every moment. And that these bowls um, offer us the possibility of health and, and, and new wellness through uh, resonance through the fluid system and um, they offer the possibility of, of putting a new spin, if you will, on health and wellness um, literally by putting, uh, by acting as an orbital tuning fork so that our cells can then spin and vibrate in the, the pulsations and the cycles and in the, in the positive uh, spinning in and spinning out in 360 degrees.
to me what's fascinating about the bulls is they never sound exactly the same. They are very much influenced by the field and the environment that they're in. And if you have several, it's sort of like um, guitar strings. And they, um, they take on the quality of, of sound in, in the room and everything around them. So it's always an adventure, it's always an experience, and that's another thing that I love about the bulls is that they really take me into a process of um, discovery and exploration because it's always different. It's always a, a, new, a new canvas, a new, a new pattern, uh, a, new, a new experience. It's never the same. Um, I believe that um, all, e all disease is um, a disease, and I believe that um, the disease can start with um, constraints in places where we are not in flow, where our um, structure has become crystallized and doesn't have the capacity to uh, deconstruct itself and reconstruct in every moment, doesn't have the ability to move from form into formlessness, which I believe is the dance of life. And I believe that through my own experience that um, the cell is also a, a fractal of that whole embryo, uh, embryological process where um, uh, a certain, there's a certain flow and movement of, of fluids and I believe that um, these bulls have the capacity to uh, put cells through their sounds uh, into a positive, a positive spin as opposed to a, um, what happens to cells is they uh, de degenerate, deteriorate, or become less fluid. There's, uh, there can be an accumulation of toxins and just a, simply a lack of um, uh, the, the dance of life, if you will, and I believe that these bulls have the capacity to um, uh, in, allow the, through resonance, through th fluid resonance, allow the, the cells to recalibrate re, um, themselves and be retuned. So I think of the bowls as, um, as uh, sound in the round that are uh, tuning forks for biological uh, process and for the dance of life.